Welcome to this introduction to our new Cove Data Protection Dashboard. We'd like to walk you through what's new, what's improved, and how you can save time on everyday administrative tasks. Let's start at the top with the main dashboard views. We've added a dashboard views menu to the top of the screen, so it's easier for you to see which view you have selected. This eliminates the need to open the left-hand menu to change views. We've also added a handy search box so you can find your view quickly. We've moved the Save View and Save View As buttons to the top right of the screen so they're easier to find. If you've made changes to your existing view but would like to revert to the original, we've added a new Reset View button. We've also moved the Customer Selector to a more prominent position at the top of the screen so you can filter your devices by customer more easily. You can also find customers easily using the search box and quickly add new customers here as well. We've added the selected customer name to the charts at the top of the page, so it's clear which customer you are viewing. We've also added the ability to quickly filter by multiple chart legends, which you can do by clicking on any of the colored legend blocks. Any filters you have applied are now shown above the devices table. You can clear each filter individually or clear all filters. If you want to apply additional filters, we've added a new filters panel to the left of the table. Click here to expand the filter panel. There are more than 600 filters available, so you can drill down to find the data you need. Filters are now grouped by category with the most common filters listed at the top. You can also search all the filters using the search box to quickly find what you need. We've made some of the filtering options more user-friendly by adding date range pickers, numeric steppers, and sliders for size ranges. If you want to edit the filters you've applied, click on the double tick icon in the toolbar. To view all available filters, you can click on the back arrow. The filter panel can also be collapsed if you don't want it taking up space on the screen. To make it easier to see what devices you have selected, we have added a new Show Selected Only option to the toolbar in the More menu. Return to a view of all devices by clicking on Back to All Available Devices. You can deselect devices using the drop-down arrow next to the checkbox. We've also added some handy new features to the search box. You can toggle easily from standard search to advanced search. Your last five searches are saved to save you time. This means there's no need to repeatedly type or paste in complex advanced search queries. If you're not sure if your advanced search syntax is correct, don't worry, the search box will highlight any incorrect syntax. The Devices table also has some nice new features. As well as being able to drag and drop columns, you can now resize columns and save the changes as part of your view. The last 28 days backup history has been improved to provide a clear visual distinction between each day. A See Details link has been added to the popover to take you straight to the backup session history for that device. And we've made it easier and faster to view table columns by replacing the Next Column button with a horizontal scroll bar. Device actions are available by clicking the menu at the end of each row or right-clicking anywhere on the row. We've also made some usability improvements to the Table Columns Management dialog. You can now sort by column name or short code, reset columns, Reset Column Width, or see all columns you've selected. The new dashboard also provides a consistent user experience between the new backup dashboard and the recovery dashboards. Thanks for watching. Please tell us what you think of the new dashboard and how we can continue to improve using the Share Feedback link.